Hi everybody, welcome back, and today we're back in the wormery. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm still not any better. Um, but here we go. Um, recently, I keep getting asked more and more about my worm chow. I know I have a couple of videos up already, but when I went back to look at them, they look pretty awful. I made those when I first sort of started. So, so I thought I'd just do a quick video and just show you that it's not an exact science, even though I kind of looked into the nutritional values of a lot of stuff that I put into, into the worm chow. But it's just getting a good number of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and because worms love calcium, just look for calcium rich, potassium rich foods that they can, and fatty foods, grains, seeds, that they can enjoy. A lot of people will use cornmeal and then bird seed which then has cracked corn and stuff in it, so it's kind of overkill. But you can do whatever you want, whatever you've got in your pantry. Like, usually I use buckwheat. I don't have access to buckwheat at the moment because of the war in Russia and sorry, uh, in Ukraine. So getting buckwheat here is difficult at the moment. So I'm using millet instead today. No drama. You know, just use whatever's in your in your pantry anyway. I'm going to start loading stuff into this hopper. This is a fancy shop grinder for for coffee um i don't recommend you go and buy one of these it's quite expensive but i've commended it and confiscated it for the worm room now so this is where it will live forever please excuse the mess oops. so oats this is about this is a two pound bag Now, I'm just leaving some at the bottom because the sesame seeds are quite fatty and I want to dry, run some dry matter after the sesame seeds through this. So let's go. <laughs> and I've got it on a pretty fine grind. what I would usually use for an espresso grind. Now this is a two pound bag of sesame seeds, but I'm only gonna use probably um, one pound. This is split black dal or moon dal. A pound. Pound of flax seeds. Obviously, this is definitely not big enough to to hold everything. So, as it fills up, I'll just put it into a tray and then fill it up again. But this is great because it doesn't leave any mess as it's grinding. So you can see, it did str struggle a little bit with the sesame. It's oily, it clumps up a little bit. But anyway, we just dump that into here for now. Press third again. I'm gonna add my millet. I just wanted to touch on something. I do add uh, agricultural gypsum into my chow as some grit, but also as calcium. But I've got some um, oyster shells, which are gonna go in as well. So my grit is already mixed into my into my uh, chow, and also I just wanted to know, let you guys know that I don't blend. I use a jaggery powder, which is panella. It's basically like granulated molasses, full of minerals. Anything that's powder form, like the flowers, wheat flowers, cornmeal, 
that goes directly straight into the mix. Not it doesn't have to go through the grinder. <laughs> okay, so this can be dumped in as well. And now for all the soft ingredients. There's that jaggery for the sugars. This is actually chickpea flour. And this is semolina. So this is around 10 pounds of chow, which will last me, hopefully, for a good, I don't know, I'd say month, I'm hoping, because usually now when I've been making stuff in my in my small grinder, like a small spice grinder, like this, I'm usually making around, I don't know, maybe two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, maybe max. And it's not lasting me long anymore, maybe 10 days, two weeks tops. So I need to up my game, but you can, you know, you can use this little spice grinder, a Nutribullet, whatever you have. And now I just need to mix this and then I can portion it out. And what I'll do to keep it fresh is I'll just put it into some steel bags. So apart from making an epic mess, I'm finished. Um, I've ended up with 12 pounds of worm chow. There's three pounds in each of these. And I've put three pounds in each of these bags. And there we have it. So I know that once I've used one of these, once I've used this, I can pour this into here. And then I, whenever I need to, I can just refill from the bags. Very simple. Guys, thank you for bearing with me with my bronchitis wheeziness. It's been tough to do the video, but I need to, uh, I'm just getting cabin fever now in the house, not being able to do anything. So I appreciate you guys being with me. And I promise tomorrow we will, tomorrow I'm gonna start um, doing the bedding for the CFT. I might actually do that tonight and then set up the, B the CFT in the next day or two. I know everyone is chomping at the bit for that. So thank you again. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell, show your boys some love, I definitely need it, you know what to do, be good, big love and see you guys soon.